Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. I hope you're ready to get that heart rate up and have an awesome workout. Let's get warmed up. Cheers, everybody. Let's sip and get warmed up. So I have my treadmill out today. If you don't have a treadmill, that's okay because I am going to have some different options for you, all right? So we're gonna do six minutes of some treadmill or another low impact but intense little cardio circuit, okay? And then we're gonna do three different arms and core exercises, right? And we'll go through three rounds of those. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be challenging. Now reach behind you. There you go, we're just gonna do a quick little warm up here. Nice. I hope you're feeling ready. Even if you're not feeling ready, be here anyway, don't stop, that's okay. You don't have to feel ready to get going. Once you get going, you'll get into it, I promise. You'll start to feel better, you'll start to feel more into it. All right, give me some beast dance whooshes. You dig your heel out in front of you and then you whoosh just like that and we're alternating legs. Nice. Beautiful. <sighs> give me four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Just give me a pause, squat, and come up. You're going down to the bottom there, hold it, and up. Down to the bottom there, hold it, and up. Give me two more just like that. As you go down, sit the hips low, but keep your chest elevated and open. I'm gonna put my hands elevated up on my treadmill here. I'm gonna lift one leg. Hold it, hold it, balance, balance. Lift the other leg and we are ready to go. If you have a treadmill I want you to get on, we're gonna start to get it elevated if you can increase the incline. If not, you're gonna follow along with me right here with our six different low impact cardio moves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. We're gonna be going for six minutes. I'm gonna take it up to not too fast. I'm taking mine up to an incline as far as my treadmill will go. My treadmill will only go to 10. All right? We're gonna go for a minute of just incline walking like this. If your treadmill doesn't go on an incline, I want you to go a little bit faster, if you can, to just increase the intensity. Putting it at an incline increases, is a way to increase the intensity without having to speed things up. So we're gonna go for a minute of this. Then we're gonna do 30 seconds shuffling one direction, 30 seconds shuffling the other direction. And we'll go through three intervals of that. So that'll be the total of six minutes here. And again, for all of you who don't have a treadmill, you're following along with the other exercises, right? Okay, we're getting ready to switch to a shuffle. Get ready, get set, let's go. I'm holding on here. My other arm's swinging. Nice. Stay light on your feet. Smile on. We're doing 30 seconds this direction. Then we'll do 30 seconds the other direction. Be careful as you switch around. Take your time. Get ready. Walk to the other side. Begin your shuffle the other direction. This isn't so bad, right? Already starting to feel the blood pumping a little bit quicker. Heart rate is elevating some. I want you to imagine yourself with really good posture, perfect posture here. And return to center and just walk. Just a minute of it walking here. So this is an awesome time to check in with our posture. Stand up tall, look ahead straight, energy going out your head. Think long neck because your shoulders are back and relax. Put your hands on your belly. Give me a big inhale. 
Exhale, vacuum out that belly. Maintain that tight core engagement without falling off the treadmill there. Beautiful. 30 more seconds of just walking like this. Then we're gonna do our shuffles again. Nice, go ahead and sip your water. Okay. I'm gonna begin shuffling the other direction. So my back's gonna be to you first. Get ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Doesn't it feel good to be up and moving? Yes. It's so good for you. And I don't mean just physically. Of course it's good for you physically. We're working our legs right now and we're strengthening. Switch other direction. We're strengthening our heart and lungs too, right? Regular exercise helps us maintain a healthy body composition and avoid or reduce the risk of major diseases like heart rate, diabetes, cancer. But on top of that, you get this mental boost, an emotional boost, and just walk normal, right? Exercise can help reduce anxiety and stress. It can help treat mild forms of depression, Showing up for yourself and being accountable for yourself by following through and exercising when you say you're going to builds confidence and success momentum. Research has shown that people who exercise, they tend to eat better too. So it can be that extra little boost you need, extra little motivation you need to make sure you're getting those fruits and veggies. You're getting that lean protein, right? Okay. In about 15 seconds, we're gonna do our last two shuffles for this interval period, and we're gonna get ready to do some arms. You decide which direction you wanna face first. I'll face you first. In three, two, one, here we go, shuffle. Nice work, nice work. Beautiful. Go ahead and look down at your feet. It'll help you stay oriented. A little bit less than 10 seconds on this side. Three, two, switch into the other side. Right into it. Hoo-wee. Ah, are you still standing up strong? and tall, are you pulling your abdominals in? Think about hugging yourself from the inside out. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so I'm gonna have my feet elevated up here to make it a little bit more challenging for the first exercise. If you don't want that option, if you need it a little bit easier, you can elevate your hands or go to your knees. Okay, so. We are gonna do 10 of these. We're gonna start here, we're gonna reach hand to foot, walk out, push up. Walk back, reach the other hand to the foot. This is two, push up. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Keep it up. Seven. Eight. Oh, come on, two more. Nine, you got it. Ten. Last little push up. Go 
Good, stand up. Grab your dumbbells. We are gonna do just a biceps curl for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, back into your plank position. All right, feet elevated if you want it more challenging. So we're hitting the core with the plank too. So go ahead and give me a shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee, cross body knee. Two, three, four, try not to twist. Keep your hips stable, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Come on up. Back onto the treadmill or ready for your little six exercise series. Let's go. All right, so we are just doing a straight incline walk here. Right into it. We really are working cardiorespiratory endurance here. Breathe deeply and slowly. Kind of get control of that heart rate. Make sure you're sipping water. How you doing? Hang in there. You can toggle the intensity by going slower if you need it easier, speeding it up if you're ready to really push yourself, right? or increase the incline if you can to make it more challenging. So, are you ready? Let's go ahead and do that side shuffle. Just 30 seconds per side. Beautiful. If you are doing the other exercises, you're giving me that cross body knee, then cross body toe touch, right? Just do your best. You got this. In three, two, one, switching shuffle directions. Right into it. Nice. Standing up tall as you do this. Abs in. You got this. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up. Just a little bit more here. Almost done with this shuffle here. And face forward. Just give me that nice incline walk. I want you getting really nice strides here as you walk. Arms are swinging at your side, right? You don't wanna be so stiff up here. That's not naturally. We naturally want to swing our arms, right? Especially when we have the pace picked up some. So swing those arms. Nice big strides. Standing up tall. Chest up. Abs in. When we have an incline walk, it targets the hips, the glutes a little bit more, which is nice, right? In about 10 seconds, we're gonna shuffle again. Get ready. Woo, in three, two, one. Here we go. Shuffle, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Great work. Keep it up, keep it up. Fallouts fails. 
Just go back to walking. You're nice and light on your feet. Get ready. Three, two, one. Switch into the other direction. As you shuffle, you really are staying mostly on the balls of your feet here. Your heels barely hit the treadmill. Come on, five more seconds here. And back to that straight on and climb walk. Good job. Two more minutes here. And then we're back to our arms and core series. Beautiful. So I want to know, how is everything going for you? We're heading into March. Can you believe it? We made it through the first two months of 2021. They flew by, didn't they? <laughs> Make up your mind right now. Set an intention for March. Right? Let's make March a great month. Right? Set an intention. Ready? We're going to shuffle. Here we go. Set an intention to progress in some way. It could be physically with our workouts. It could be in the kitchen with your nutrition. It could be career-wise, relationship-wise. Right? Where do you need improvement in your life? And set a goal for March to... Take one action step every day to improve in that area, to reach that goal. That's not that hard, right? You can do one little thing every day, right? All right. Hooray. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. And switch sides. I forgot to switch sides before. I got too busy talking. We'll hang out on this side a little bit more. Okay, almost ready, steady. All right. I'm gonna sip my water really quick. I want you to go ahead and sip your water. Whew. Breathe. Okay, we're gonna walk back, tap the foot, walk out into a push-up. You ready? All right, walk it back, tap, walk it out, push up. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nice work. Oh, let's do our bicep curls. Stand up tall, abs in. Keep those elbows in close. Two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice work. Okay, plank shoulder tap and cross body knee drive. 10 of them. Stay really stable and tight and strong. 
Try not to twist as you pick up your hands for those taps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Right up into the treadmill or getting ready for your other circuit. Y'all, this is the final round of the day. All right, we're still focused and determined to do our best, right? <sighs> Breathe nice and easy. Taking really nice, beautiful strides. We don't want to be penguin walking with little strides. Give it your normal stride. Arms are swinging, stand up tall. Get ready, get set. We're gonna side shuffle in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice work, guys. Give me five more seconds this way. Almost there. Three, two, one. Right into the other way. <laughs> nice and light on your feet. Your free arm is swinging with you. Keep that smile on. Come on, you can do it. All right. All right, about 10 more seconds here. Get ready, three, two, one. Straight on and climb walking. Let's sip some more. Again, nice strides. Stand up tall, abs are in, arms are swinging with you. Full minute of just walking here. Getting control of your breathing. Nice. <clears throat> so we have 15 more seconds here. Then we're gonna sh start our shuffles again. If the shuffles get to be too much, just stick with the incline walking, that's okay. Get ready, three, two, one. Incline shuffles here. Let's go, let's go. Now, as you get tired, you might be tempted to round your back and hunch over, don't. Push your chest open, pull your shoulders back. Think long neck, long spine, abs in. Good job, good job. In three, two, one, right into the other side. Nice. Whew. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Way to be here with me. Way to stick it out. Come on. You got it. We're almost done with this shuffle. We're gonna go back to the incline walk. Come on, you can do it. Get ready in three, two, one, just walk. This is the final go around here. Give it your all, do your best. I'm gonna re-engage, check in with my posture. I'm standing up tall, abs are in. I want nice long strides. 
My arms are swinging. Make your walk and look perfect. <laughs> 30 more seconds here. Nice deep breaths. Doesn't it feel so good to be moving? I know it does, right? Think about how accomplished you're gonna feel at the end of this, knowing that you showed up for yourself. We're gonna get ready to shuffle in three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna start with my back to you again so that I can finish looking at you. Muppet friends, we can do this. 10 more seconds on this side. That's it. Three, two, one. Switch into the other way. Nice. Hang in there. We're almost done with the treadmill for the day. Or with your cardio circuit for the day. Let's go, let's go. Come on, four, three, two, one, nice work, okay. Hop off, walk around a little bit. Let's get some water, everybody. Mm. Okay, we're doing awesome. Let's get ready to finish with these arms and core exercises. Whew. All right, walk it back, touch, walk it out, push up, one, two, three, abs are in, right? Four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, it's getting challenging. Ten, nice work those dumbbells, they're ready to work them guns, right? Abs are in, here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, stand up tall, abs in, five, isolate the biceps. I don't want you swinging through the hips. I'm trying to keep my, the rest of my body really stiff and strong and still. I think we got, this is the last one. Okay, shoulder tap plank and cross body knee drive. Whew. Let's do this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work, bring it up. Okay, so I want you walking around and kind of catching your breath some. I'm gonna get my dumbbells out of the way. Grab your water, sip your water. We're officially in cool down mode. Okay, so you're kind of walking around in your space, letting that heart rate come down some. Whew. All right. If you don't have a treadmill to put your foot up on, you're gonna do this. 
take one foot out in front of you, sit back like this, okay? If you do have a treadmill and something to put your foot up on, I want you to extend one leg up there <laughs> and hinge forward. So we're stretching through the hamstring glutes and lower back here. I want you square, I don't want you twisting, square. <laughs> okay. Ooh Ready? We're gonna switch. Same thing, other side. Balance. Oh. Nice, just breathe. This feels really good to stretch this way. If you don't have the treadmill, you've just extended your foot at, out in front of you. Heel down, toe up, straight leg. Push your hips back as you hinge forward, right? Yes. All right. Everybody, give me a nice straddle stance. Interlace your fingers behind you. Hinge forward. Let those arms just kind of hang over you, stretching through your chest and the front of your shoulders. Getting those hamstrings some more. Oh, that feels good. It might feel good to sway side to side some. Maybe not, it's up to you. Release the arms, bend the knees, round the back. Now one vertebrae at a time. Roll on up. Give me some wrist circles. Shake it out. Give me a nice big inhale. And exhale. And give me those virtual high fives, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me for this Monday workout. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're planning on meeting me right back here tomorrow for our next workout. Until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, everyone.